The Sunapee Ragged Kearsides Greenway is 75 miles of 14 hiking trails surrounding Lake Sunapee, Ragged, and Kearsides Mountain. Today, friends Steve, Craig, Ellen, and myself are hiking Trail 6, Great Brook Ridge in New London to Route 4A in Wilmont. The item that makes hiking Trail 6 special to me is the wolf tree. And frankly, until today's hike, I had never heard of a wolf tree. As quoted from a wolf tree sign in this video, quote, Along this path are several large old trees, probably left to shade cattle when the bunkers cleared this hillside in the 1800s. They grew rapidly, wolfing sunlight and water from any seedlings nearby, unquote. The wolf tree has substantial girth, lowered dead branches, have leaves at the top, and are higher than the surrounding trees. At first glimpse, I thought they were dead trees. We begin at the western trailhead at Great Brook Bridge at an elevation of 800 feet and immediately start climbing to 1,500 feet. This is section six, and uh, it's Craig and Helen and Steve, and we're keeping our 10 feet distance here. This is the trailhead, and we've got our book with us. We are ready to go, okay. Here we are, gorgeous day, about 34 degrees. Here we are. And there's a lot of spurs that go off at this trail, but we are going to be following the greenway. There's green, greenway ways is up there and right here. And the reason it's the way they're taking off now is where we're heading on section um, six and clearly marked with the blazes here it starts off and goes uphill and we are indeed you can hear me huffing and puffing what is this how high is this what do you think Yeah. I think we started at 800, we've probably come up a couple hundred, we've got 500 more to go. Okay. And then 300 down to the cars at the other side. Okay, it's fun to the map, that's a, say, I think I see the top. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been 14 minutes into the hike, <laughs> and it's been all uphill right from the start almost. I'm hoping that it looks like this might be the top. Supposed to be 1,500 feet. The old stone walls. And the old farms here. Beautiful, these stone walls, you think. All the work and effort. Farm is dead. Clear the fields. Build the walls. Here they have sheep. So this must be 1,500 feet. Now we still got some more uphill to go. Uh oh, Craig just told me. We got some more uphill to go. Looks like it. Yeah. Double hole, Stevie. Double hole. You got like sheep here and pens. You got a wonder, huh? I'm a Benjamin Bunker and his wife Betsy Daniels and in and, and their twelve children. Their son Nathaniel's home and barn are located about. Uh, 200 yards to the north of this road at the top of the hill but we are not <laughs> hopefully this is the top of the hill but it's not as bad as that steep section we just came up when we looked at the monument for the bunkers family so as we're reaching the top of the hill here we're coming up to this junction and this is bunker loop to pengree place what's on that way and this is the Wolf Trail hilltop right here. There's a little sign. How about the Wolf, wolf Tree Trail? Along this path are several large and old trees, probably left to, to shade the cattle when the bunkers cleared the hillside in the 1800s. They grew rapidly, the wolfing sunlight and water from any seedling nearby. Look for them. Somebody's been maintaining the trail here. That's nice. 
Thank you to all the volunteers who put a lot of hard work and effort into maintaining the Greenway. And you can see the Greenway sign. Ah, so the Web Forest turns right. And this junction means, depending on which direction you are going, east or west, um, this is uh, the junction here. Grace, check. So where are we on the sign hill? You are here. Yeah. That always makes sense, right? <laughs> you are here. Here's where we are. And where did we start now here? Right down there. Okay, okay, we started there. I don't know what these contours are. It's been flat contours, but they're not too narrow though, I guess, compared to the White Mountains, but. Yeah. Okay, we're at the junction of the Web Forest and the Wolf Trail, and you can also, you can also see the Greenway sign there, and then the Web Forest and the Wolf Trail, and there's a map here, so we know where we are. And you can see right in the middle of the sign, it says you are here. Wow, this is a huge boulder. They call this a glacier erratic. And it is huge. Wow, this is huge. Sir. And believe it or not, we're still going uphill here. Well, a couple times I thought we were at the top, but and it's still a ways to go up there. Well, oh, you gotta put your hiking shoes and get somewhat in shape for this hike. But it's a nice hike. The hiking is easy. It's just it's uphill. I'm gonna cross the snow wall one more time. Craig's checking our map. Does it say anything? Well, I'm not gonna tell you they're at the top yet because I've been telling you that for the last four times and it hasn't worked. <laughs> We are. So, Ellen, are we at the top yet? You're in front of us. Here's Web Forest Trail. Goes to the left, and we're going to go to the, the right here, given the sign. And this is the, uh, again, the uh, map as to where we are. This is almost 1,500 feet. I can see it on the, 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 the map here where it says red. Right there, you are here. And if we were coming up from Route 4A, as you can see, this this uh, Greenway sign points back down the hill where we just came, and you can see another one on the tree down there. So here we go. So we're gonna take a loop here. We're on the Wolf Tree Trail now. We have a lot of these old trees that they were talking about at the uh, plaque we saw at the uh, Bunker Farm location. A lot of these old, old, old trees here that were left for the, as it said on the plaque, for the shade of the cows, whatever, for these farms. And we just walked alongside that stone wall for about five minutes there, walked along that stone wall. That's right, first this is where we go back to the left. So we come alongside a stone wall for, what, 10 minutes? 15 minutes, something like that, long ways. And uh, Ellen's standing on the bridge, but we're not going to cross over that bridge. We're going to go up there. We're going to go back up the hill again. Yeah. Okay, so you are here. It looks like we have about a mile and a half. You can see the signs very well marked. Beautiful waterfall there. Hey, we're have another flock in the trail here. Greenway goes to off to the to the right, and the web forest trail goes off to the left here, or straight ahead. There's a what pine? There's a white pine trail also. It goes back to foray, but a different way here. Yeah, finally on a flat section, which I believe means we're at the top of the hill. So we be, should be going down here shortly. It's a nice hike though. Now, now we're coming into the pines before there were no pines. But again, it's a beautiful day. Craig and Alan have turned around at the peak back there and Steve and I are continuing now. There's a little beaver pond in there. And how do we know it's a beaver pond? 
We also saw some scat, which we believe is the moose scat. So that would be an ideal place for a moose. If I were a moose, I'd live there. We had a nice little hike here. This time, two hours and 17 minutes. It says about a two hour hike, so this we're fine. This 3.2 mile hike took us just over two hours and 15 minutes.